2023 was a busy year for MTS, but it was also a year where we faced some uphill battles, in part due to the economy's ongoing recovery after the pandemic. But thanks to the leadership of our board, the commitment of MTS staff, and the support of our riders, we have emerged from those challenges stronger and have secured a bright future for our transit system. I'm proud to say that we've secured over $170 million in funding to improve our system. We also launched the first ever Rapid with zero emission buses. Ridership on the trolley has reached the highest for any transit system in the nation. Our efforts to build more housing near transit are advancing, and we remain true to our mission to make safety the number one priority for our agency. These are all great strides towards achieving our long-term goals of increasing ridership, housing, sustainability, and cleaner air, while keeping our day-to-day -day service levels the highest since before the pandemic. In 2023, our buses and trolleys logged more than 250,000 daily trips, helped in part by increased youth ridership and a full year of special events at Snapdragon Stadium and record attendance at Petco Park. We look forward to continuing to attract even more riders in 2024 and helping solidify MTS's important role in getting San Diegans where they need to be. Now here's the MTS team with more highlights from 2023. At MTS, our motto is safety every trip, every day. And in 2023, we celebrated a great year of safe driving. We recognized 10 bus operators with the Million Mile Award, which awards operators who have driven 25,000 hours without a preventable accident. We also had 277 bus operators who drove the entire year without a preventable accident. Great job, bus team. Great job. For trolley operations, it was also a year of safety achievements. We recognize 120 train operators with the Safety Award for their years of accident-free service, ranging from 2 to 34 years. Three operators were recognized for 34, 32, and 30 years of accident-free service. Great job, rail team. At MTS, safety also extends beyond the wheel of a bus or a cab of a trolley. In 2024, MTS will add 34 code compliance inspectors to our team to help patrol the system. This increase will boost the total number of CCIs patrolling the system from 56 to 90, a 60% increase. In 2023, the calendar was filled with large-scale special events and record-breaking ridership on the trolley. Overall, MTS provided service to more than 300 special events, including Padres games, concerts at Snapdragon Stadium, and Comic-Con. In the summer, MTS logged an additional 250,000 trips for San Diego Comic-Con, and we had our highest ridership events at Snapdragon in September and October, carrying more than 8,000 concert goers to see Coldplay and Pink. Also in the fall, we provided 280,000 trips during another free ride day and wrapped up the year with some holiday cheer with the first ever Holly Jolly Trolley. We look forward to taking you to your next concert or game on the trolley in 2024. In the fall, we launched the new Rapid 227, the first route in the MTS system with articulated battery electric buses. The new route provides service from the Otay Mesa Transit Center to Imperial Beach every 15 minutes with a connection to the UC San Diego Blue Line trolley at the Iris Avenue Transit Center. The route has been steadily gaining new riders and currently provides service to about 2,500 passengers every day who rely on Rapid 227 to get to work, school, shopping, and other activities. Also this year, the MTS Board of Directors approved a $3 million spending plan to address rider priorities identified in the Social Equity Listening Tour report. Funded projects include more than $1.5 million to install new bus shelters at up to 35 different locations, $450,000 for upgraded lighting at seven Orange Line trolley stations, $120,000 for a new solar lighting pilot program at 25 bus stops. $250,000 for new upgraded smart trash receptacles that will help address with cleanliness issues around trolley stations. Projects will start coming to the system in early 2024. 
In 2023, the MTS board approved a budget of $174 million for a capital improvement program. This money helps MTS to buy new buses and trolleys and build the infrastructure needed to power the next generation of zero emission vehicles. Some of the funding includes $60 million for 63 new buses, including battery electric, compressed natural gas, and propane power buses. $36 million to build a new Clean Transit and Advancement Campus, our new all-electric bus division. $22 million for new trolley vehicles, and $10 million for the new electric charging infrastructure for buses at our Imperial Avenue division. In 2023, we celebrated the grand opening of Union Grantville, a 250-home housing development at the Grantville Transit Center. And early next year, Shoreline, a second development at Grantville featuring 124 homes for low-income residents will open its doors. But our commitment to housing will only continue to grow in 2024. New agreements for additional housing projects at Spring Street and Palm Avenue trolley stations have recently been signed, and new groundbreakings will be announced in the coming year. This brings the total number of residential homes in some stage of development on MTS property to nearly 3,000. 2023 was an exciting year for our agency. I'm especially thankful to all MTS employees who make our system one of the best in the country. Lastly, as we say goodbye to 2023 and hello to 2024, we do want to remind you that all rides on MTS will be free after 6 p.m. for New Year's Eve. If you'll be heading out to welcome the new year, please be safe and take transit. On behalf of all of us here at MTS, we wish you a wonderful year ahead. And as always, thank you for choosing transit.